Now that's what I like to see. 900,000, let's see. Happy to see your back, Trent. I'm glad you like my back. It's so nice to see you again, Trent. Snap that up. Nothing better. Pretty good, but no. It's sort of like turning like around back. backwards. Why do they all like my back? Well, the good news is that because I'm acting alone, I'll be able to pretty much blast the ever-living crap out of them with torpedoes from long range without having to worry about taking out any friendlies. The, uh, they tend to do that. Explosives. High explosives. Hey, don't fall asleep on me. Out here you'll get us killed. You don't want to just turn them on. Effective, but probably blow you up in the process. Let's do the time warp again. Coming in on it. them to make them easier to spot. Now he's knocked them down to a standard, uh, standard allotment of four to gun damage. You know you better than that. Usually we get a down to two. You might have respawned. I think you yeah, regen their, their shields or something like that. The interesting thing in this game is if you're if you're in the afterburners, they have a much harder time hitting you, even if you're going in a straight line. So even when your your energy just starts to fall down a little bit, you want to just keep pulsing it. Keep those bullets falling behind you. One down. Okay, so this guy took got clipped by a rocket before. He got hit by a torpedo. thrusters rest a little bit. Try to build them up a little bit. Just a touch. Now wear one down and then shift. Because at this point, when I get down to one dead, there'll probably be another whole wave coming. It helps if you can knock one out quickly. See so now we switch targets. Sometimes they will just stand there and let you take it. I don't let those take the bullet. That's what you want to do as much as you can. Try and follow me, and you're dead. Oh good, he's running away. We've got more enemies at the next waypoint. Terminate them. Got him before he can get away. This ship is set up 
primarily for, I'm checking to see if there's any cool loot, primarily for hunting um, nomads actually, so it's, it's all hull guns, I don't have any sh anti-shield guns on it, but I do have krakens on it, which are particularly effective against the shield types that the outcasts use, so it's, this is really my Alaska ship, it's good against those things, outcasts and nomads. Tap two per ship this time. That should get me at least two kills. Ah, they must have ducked one. Fighting is fighting an actual human. Let's kick the engine on a kill on and a little bit more complicated maneuvers. Engine kills put you in an actually more Newtonian physical kind of realm. Or you can turn the ship while continuing to... Yeah, I had to do that before. Oh, God, this mission. Okay, down to two. Okay, let's, let's get a throw some distance here. Give it a kick of speed. Coast out at speed. One of the glitches in Freelancers, if you back up with your guns facing the enemy, they won't approach you. You turn a little sideways, they will. Now I've got enough room to unleash more torpedoes. Come on. Did none of that land? I see a torpedo going off into the distance. At least he's very weak. Should have killed one. Of Main thing that I got my shields back up to the most part here. You're dead. Anything else? Alright, we got new problems. I'm gonna get two off there. And this could get old. We're gonna have to do the uh we're gonna have to do for engine kill, rinse, lather, repeat here for a little bit. Really get ourselves out to 2k. Game's gonna complain that I'm running away, but it's a tactical retreat. Okay, we've gotten one. I'm two, so we're back down to four. Now let's do it again. Haha! -ha! Oh, we didn't we, we disengage the engine kill. Back out again. Power up the shields. See those distances increasing, but until they hit seven, eight hundred, I take bullets. Oh dear, then you get kicked out that way a little bit, and then I get dangerous. Get back into battle. You're not being paid to run. I'm being paid to kill stuff. Let me do that. These torpedoes have the range because I believe they are modded. You're back within range of the waypoint. Try to keep it that way. They have a wider uh, explosive uh, effective area. And a longer range. I don't know if they have higher power. But that was uh, basically to make it more competitive for regular players to play against uh, players who had capital hits. Yeah, all right. Hello. So I can disengage the engine kill and drive normally here because once you get behind that guy, you, you can the do. The area is clear. Well done. Mission Commission signing off. 
any good stuff. So we have consumer goods and silver. What's in that? Niobium and silver. What's better? Silver. I'm thinking for what, um... 280 is pretty much everything. So how about the consumer goods? I think we have to, to beam them in to see what they are. Let's dump the silver. Yes. Shield deactivated. Beam in the consumer goods. Shield activated. Trade with that. You know, shipyard 724? Yeah, that's much better. So that would be optimized. Our payout here. We get back to you know shipyard. Go to. Let's do the time warp again. Now let's see. Do we get any? Uh, did we get? We got that stuff, but do we get any weapons? We got a bunch. We got one kraken and a bunch of worms. Swatterman. I'll probably cash these in this time. That's what I've got mounted. Okay, it's the most effective against graviton shields, and that's what the outcasts use. So that's why. A good gun for this particular area. It's a good gun in general. Dock. Once you hit 10k, you can activate the docking sequence. And see if we can rinse, lather, repeat. See if there's another good mission. to dock is granted. Please proceed to dock two. I've got it set to automatically buy all the stuff it needs. Torpedoes. 27 per torpedoes used that time. I wasn't really landing them very well, which is an interesting thing. Usually it's a little bit better. We take any damage other than the middle wing? Yeah, we don't want to fix the middle wing. That's a base tradition of having that trimmed off. Complete repair the rest complete. Of it. You're a smaller target to missiles with that off there. That sticks way out here. Gives it kind of an X wing fighter almost kind of configuration, but it, uh, it's not full wing, but it does take more damage. You see, the way this game calculates damage is that the body is considered an element. Each of the, you know, the middle wing, each of the side wings, the tail, it's all considered elements. And if you take a missile hit, it puts 5,000 hit against each one. So your hull basically, you might, me, your hull is worth uh, 9,000 hit points. If you take a 5,000 point missile, it shouldn't kill you. But what happens is you take 5,000 plus 5,000 plus 5,000 plus 5,000, depending on what's in the blast range. And then uh, you don't survive. It's kind of odd, really. You know, 5,000 points should be 5,000 points. But if you take the wing off, and then you get hit in the tail with a missile, you survive. Because you only it only hits the hull. It doesn't hit the back wing of the tail. And, you know, although there's still a lot of missiles that will one-punch you. But that's, um, that's one of the tricks for making this an even more durable ship than it is. Can I shoot this stuff in? button there. Sell off the extra hornets. And we go over here. I don't know. What do you want me to do? It is what it is. Make a good amount of money there. Anything else going on? Not as much going on this time. We get the seven hundred eighty thousand dollar one here. Hey, John. Nice of you to come back, Trent. Good to see you again. So, what's up? Now that I'm here, I might have just the right mission for you. Okay, give me the details. Yeah, it's the same amount of money as the other one. Let's take it. Maybe there's a so million dollar one somewhere else. All but... right then. Good luck. 
What the heck? We might as well roleplay it. That's interesting. That's not that far away from Prison Station Mitchell, so... I don't think we're lucky enough to get it when we're in gun range. I've had that happen once. We basically hide next to the station. The station's indestructible. Go to. There's a way for the, the AI Area to kill will the AI. Be at the mission waypoint. See the nav map for further details. So let's just want to watch us fly through space here. We'll just do the time warp again. Hostile ships in range. We've marked them to make them easier to spot. You can't take what I'm dishing out. They're nice and clustered together. That's what you want. Again, not many has died as normally do. I get a lot more people. Target it up. Could be just rusty. With the eagle, you can you can do a lot more tight turns than you can with the saber, but still good to use saber technique where you pop the injury kill and spin around quite linearly. Especially against the eye. Silly. Guy. Silly. Speaking, you never want to use torpedoes against people in real PvP you know, situations because all it takes is one cruise disruptor and your your missile explodes right in front of you. This is interesting. I'm down to one person. I haven't seen another wave yet. I'm going to use the cruise engine for this for two claws. Let everything kind of charge back up. A lot of interference here. It's going to be hard to hit them with torpedoes. Whoa! Especially when they do that. That was. You see, I'm giving it a little bit of kick of thruster so that it has momentum. We did, didn't do too bad there. We got we got a bunch of them. The, the AI will do will kick it in out of uh, actual cruise engines to go faster to get away. But you have that moment when they kick in the cruise engines where they're completely vulnerable. <laughs> How I was outside of uh, my own explosive radius there, I don't know. I took a little bit of a chance there. I've never seen that before. 
That zigzag. Crazy. Alright, we're gonna have to do this over because that we're too close on the switch to the, the closest fire. I've literally never seen that before. I don't know what's happening to the ones that are zigzagging out of control. I'm getting pretty hit pretty hard here. Okay. Up to the closest again. Get it out to 2k. Roughly. This time I'm gonna triple up on him. One of those has to land. Come on. Alright. Three is an easier deal with than four, but I could bit. driving away, hoping that he can survive my assault while everybody else shoots the crap out of me. That's something the AI do all the time. While well, you're focusing on one target, the rest of them gang up on you from behind. So one technique that's good is he's evasive because he's targeted. So if you've got good eyes, target the other one manually. There is a little targeting uh, wrestle there. You do it often enough, they pick up on it. And yeah, it does shift. You, know, you, could, you could basically get one who's not evasive to shoot at you. You target them. It just come on. Because I've got four Nomad guns on this thing, energy's not a problem. I have unlimited ammo. That is the standard thing to do. Goodbye. We show area as clear. Good job. Mission commission out. No real loot. Did you get any loot in this? Eh, nothing great, but... talk about, well, will Star uh, Citizen take over from where Freelancer left off? I'm not seeing it. You know? I mean, don't get me wrong. Star Citizen is a much larger, much more ambitious game. Uh, I'm not going to say that Freelancer ever was. I think this is that's what he intended for Freelancer. But there's... I don't know. Unless they change the way that the ship dynamics are and the way, you know, ships handle and the way the damage of the guns do I just don't see it having the same feel. I mean, don't get me wrong, I think it's probably more accurate and more realistic, but you know, realistic isn't always fun. There's a video gamey element to, uh, to Freelancer that uh, I don't think I'm going to want to give up. I don't think I'm going to stop playing Freelancer just because of Star Citizen. Heck, I can't even get it to update properly. I haven't played Star Citizen in a while, because every time I do it, I have to completely uninstall it and then reinstall it, and it's just too much a pain in the buns to do that. Doc. So, I'll see today if it updates properly. Maybe I'll try it out for a little while, but I, I don't know. It's 
we'll see. Roger that. Your request to dock is granted. Please proceed to dock one. They have so long to go on that. I wish they'd stop adding ships and adding plants and adding this. Just finish the game. Just finish it. I realize that's not where the money is, but you know, right now you got enough money. Finish the game. I'm sure you'll make money going forward with add on stuff to DLCs. And... For as much as people go on that, you know, Chris Roberts has raised over a hundred million dollars. Uh, Grand Theft Auto has gone through like 700 million in shark cards. I mean, there's ways of doing this. Finish the game. Didn't take any actual damage on that one. That's good. That's a good sign. We'll do three. Three rounds. Let's see. I wonder if there's a Nomad run this time. 790. Ah, Assassination Pro one. Man, those are always good. There's a Nomad one, but it's cheap. Nice of you to come back, Trent. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not dead. 780. Welcome. Going that. 580. Yeah. Let's take the 791. Now, what you might be thinking is it would be really cool if you could engage oh, the enemy geez. and then kite them back Your to a battle. Can be found at the mission waypoint. Refer to the nav map for specific instructions. But they won't let you do that because you can't go out of range of the waypoint. You're basically limited to a certain sphere of operations there, you know. I don't know how Let's see, how shall I put this? I don't know how engaging this video is going to be. I like it. Um, this is one of the most enjoyable things you know, I do in video gaming in general. I love playing Freelancer. I like this flying around in Freelancer. It's just a, a great place to be. Hit the wrong button. It appears he's not there. Hold off his cronies until we can locate him. If it's my boss you're after, you're in for some serious pain. Okay, Esmeralda. Because the missions are a bit repetitive, to be perfectly honest with you. It's another kind of thing where if you have somebody doing it with you here, it's a lot more fun. The things can be going on. This is probably the best way to make money in the game right now. Oh, we got the, the, the actual bad guys here. Santos Estevez. And watch this. We're going to just gonna blast this guy. Turn back towards the mission. We should. I don't see the group of them yet. There we go. Santos Estevez. Now you ignore everybody else. And wow, that's just... I don't know what's happening to my torpedoes. They, the, the ones are zigzagging off into the distance. This isn't good. We need to. I just got to back off, back off, back off. Hitting those things is bad. We need more distance. Because once you get knocked sideways, they can close on you. You need to back up for a while. Target Santos Estevez. Just unload on him and hope one of these torpedoes, at least one's hit him. Come on. Back it up again. One. What is with that zigzag attack thing?
I am not sure I can take on this many at once. Those torpedoes have to hit. I don't know why they're not hitting. Get back into battle. You're not being paid to run. Target eliminated. Mission Commission signing off. All right, we're done. Now, what you can do now, pop this in reverse again, and just leave them. There's some blue out there. I don't care for it. That's a lot of outcasts. I know there's players of this game that would say, Ha ha! I've taken on five times that many outcasts. You don't know what you're doing. And eh, possible. I really don't know why my, my torpedoes are going crazy like that. I've never seen that before. Is it an internet thing? I mean, what's the... 81 ping. 0% loss. That should be fine. Very, very odd. Oh, Don't know if that a graphical glitch on my end. I just, I can't even tell you. It ended up being a more expensive mission than I planned. They ended up using so many torpedoes that went nowhere. But let's do the time warp again. we do here? We did three missions. Let's take a look. Ooh, look, an alien org. Let's see, we're doing the repairs. It's only 18. I thought I did more torpedoes there. We'll not repair them. Repair complete. Yeah, I'd have a degree. That's the one we're seven. You're looking at a little more than two million in three missions. That's not bad. You know, it's probably as good or better than the trading missions. The trade as far as grabbing a, a large transport and running back and forth. But it depends what you're in the mood for. Sometimes there's something nice about a trade mission where you're just driving around looking at stuff. We'll do another one of those soon. But on this note, I think you get the gist of this. Here's a, it's a good way to make money here on the Freelancer Universe server here, just cranking out missions in Alaska, making Liberty happy. This is the Black Knight. Have a great night, everybody.